Anchor is throwing their hat into the ring of smart eyewear with the Soundcore Frames. Featuring a unique design that allows for swapping frames out quickly, the new glasses use built-in speakers for an open-air listening experience. And following our announcement coverage, we got to go hands-on with the Soundcore Frames, so let's dive in and check them out. Thanks for watching 9 to 5 Toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and today we do have the new Anchor Soundcore Frames. Now, while Anchor isn't the first to come out with smart sunglasses, their design offers a unique feature. With the Bose frames and Razer Anzu, if you wanted a different style, you'd have to buy an entirely new pair of glasses for the full $200 price point. But with the Soundcore frames, the base kit comes with a single style frame, and additional styles can be purchased for $50. And this design drastically expands the usability of these glasses, in my opinion, because if you get tired of one certain style, you can just swap over to a new one without paying the full price. And the Razer Razer Anzu, which we have right here, had its own unique feature with the swappable lenses. So you could go from a blue blocking lens to a, you know, normal sunglasses lens, and then even get prescription lenses to put in here if you, you know, needed something more specific. But with the Soundcore frames, Anchor is taking this to the next level with the ability to swap out, you know, the entire style of the frames in addition to the lenses. And just a real quick demonstration to show how that works, right here at the hinge, it does just pull apart to detach the arm from the frame. And it's a pretty uh, secure connection in there, you know, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall out out at any moment um, but at the same time you know I haven't had these for a super long time to really test the durability uh, but from my limited experience and my limited testing they felt you know pretty durable and as smart sunglasses I'd say that the anchor sound core have been the most uh, discreet visually from the ones that I've tested so far uh, once again with the Razer Anzu, which we have over here, I mean, you know, all these things are packing batteries, they're packing speakers, they're packing microphones, they're packing touch controls. Uh, and so, you know, you have to put that stuff somewhere. And so obviously that is in the arms on here. And the Razer Anzu is quite a bit bigger. Uh, you can see here the arms are quite a bit uh, taller than what the Soundcore frames are. And the Bose frames that we checked out a couple years ago at this point, you know, those were even larger than either of these. The Soundcore frames are definitely the most discreet visually and you know, won't draw as much attention to you, you know, that you're wearing some sort of smart sunglasses as the other two pairs. And with this smaller size, obviously it's gonna, you know, change up battery life and everything a little bit. The Soundcore frames still have a five and a half hour uh, at normal volume use. Uh, that's what the battery life to be expected on the Soundcore frames, which is right in line with the Razer Anzu as well, about five, five and a half hours. Uh, the Bose frames can get up to eight hours uh, with normal use. So if battery life is something you're really concerned about, then you might wanna check out the Bose frames. And checking out more of the design here, a small logo on either side of the arms covers up a capacitive touch button that supports a variety of gestures from taps to slides. By default, they control playing, pausing, and skipping tracks, but through the app, you can also enable volume control and the ability to call up a voice assistant. Towards the back of the arms are the two speakers on either side for a total of four drivers to play audio. The main driver measures 25 millimeters by eight millimeters, while the second smaller driver measures eight millimeters in diameter. And on the bottom of the arms near the temples are the charging contacts for the included charger. Since both arms are separate, both arms must be attached to the charger, and directly in front of those charging contacts is the microphone. Anchor also includes a simple but handy carrying case for the Soundcore frames. So as we mentioned, and as we can see here, uh, Anchor sent over a ton of these different styles. Uh, the kit that I got came with these aviator styles, which are probably my favorite. You know, I typically lean towards aviator style sunglasses anyways. Uh, so I was really glad that they have that option. But from, as you can see over here, they have, you know, pretty much every single, you know, I guess more popular style that you would expect. You know, everything from, um, these are kind of like what the uh, Razer Anzu and the Bose frames, kind of a similar style that those have. But then you can also get, you know, some of these bigger ones. I think they call these their festival ones. They're just, you know, <laughs> some massive glasses. And uh, so plenty of different styles in here, which obviously is you know, one of the main features, gonna be one of the major selling points of the Soundcore frames, is the ability to quickly swap out those different styles. And taking a look at the aviator style that came with this set, it has a darker tint up top that lightens as you get closer to the bottom, with a shiny metal look on the outside of the frames to give it a really classy look. And these different styles have some different sizes as well. Uh, they call this one, which they call the Tour, the aviator one, uh, it's a standard size. And as you can see here, uh, doesn't look you know too big or too small or anything. It's not like pushing the frames and the arms out a little bit. Um, I think that fits me pretty well. But then they will have some that are smaller as well, like this landmark style here. So we can open this up and check this out. So as you can see with these, they're a little bit more narrow here in the front. So these are a smaller size. So you definitely wanna check out all the different sizes and different styles and see what one's gonna you know, fit best for you and what's gonna fit your style. And moving on to the controls by default, double tapping the Soundcore logos on either arm 
arm will play or pause the current media, while swiping forwards or backward across the logo will skip to the next or previous track. And these controls can be customized inside of the app. I ended up setting the right arm to control volume with a swipe towards the front, turning the volume up and swiping back, turning the volume down, and then the left side would still control skipping tracks by swiping forward or backward. And double tapping the right logo will play and pause media, while a double tap to the left logo will call up the voice assistant, which is Siri in my case. And these are all really easy to set up and control within the app. And moving on to audio quality, you know, as with all of these wearable smart glasses, uh, it's an open ear design. There's nothing that's, you know, directly in or over your ear. And so uh, they sound good for what they are, but I don't really think you'll be blown away by the audio quality. At the same time though, I mean, I was able to clearly listen to music while moving around and I was still aware of my surroundings. And it's a pretty unique experience and can be a lot of fun when cruising around a city on a bicycle, as I did with Seth from Electric when I was testing out the Bose frames. The default EQ is pretty thin, but within the app, you can set your own sound settings. I ended up cranking the lower frequencies pretty much all the way to the max, which added some more body to the sound. And while the spec sheet states a frequency response of 20 to 20,000 hertz, that deep low end is pretty indistinguishable. Boosting the lows helped to fill everything out, but it's definitely not for bass heads. Throughout the mids and highs though, I was really impressed with the clarity. Uh, listening to Mist by Protest the Hero, it was still really easy to pick out the different guitar lines and the different vocals in this pretty chaotic metal track. Anchor also has a sound mode which they call open surround that can be enabled through the app. And this mode aims to create an open ear surround sound for concert-like experience, and to me, it sounded like it boosted up some reverb. And while this might make it sound a little bit bigger, it also made things a bit muddier. Once again, listening to Mist by Protest the Hero, a fast-paced metal track, the guitars lost quite a bit of clarity and it rendered the track more on the muddy side. A more delicate track like Love is a Beautiful Thing by Wolfpack did benefit from the sound mode though, with a more full and immersive sound. And one other EQ sound mode that can be enabled is a privacy mode. Uh, obviously, since these are, you know, open ear, there's nothing actually in your ear or, you know, covering up your ear, sound is just kind of shooting out of here and shooting towards your ear. Uh, so the privacy mode aims to prevent, you know, as much sound leakage as possible so the others around you can't really hear what's coming out of these smart glasses. And while it does help quite a bit, vocals do still transmit pretty clearly. In a relatively quiet room with the volume set to about 60%, I could still hear the vocals about five feet away. But it does definitely help with instruments to knock down the sound of those and make them harder to hear. And of course, another benefit of this is the ability to do hands-free audio calls and you know call up your voice assistant and control it that way. So here we will do a microphone test. So I do have it connected to my iPhone 8 and I'm recording through the voice memos app. And so hopefully this gives you a good idea of what the microphone sounds like on the Soundcore frames. Now in my testing, in my experience, uh, I mean, it kind of sounds like a lot of, you know, middle range true wireless earbuds would still kind of open and airy. It's not, you know, the most like direct, it's not like a great sound. But at the same time, I was still able to make voice calls and communicate you know, extremely clearly with this, with some background noise as well. And you know, people can pick out my voice just fine. So it's totally usable for making voice calls while wearing the Soundcore frames. And taking a deeper look into the Soundcore app, in here there are a lot of settings for the frames. First up, you can change the look of your frames to match the style that you currently have installed. There's also a battery indicator to show how much juice you have left. Moving down, we have the open surround mode that can be toggled on and off along with a slider for the intensity of the open surround mode. And then we move into the EQ settings with a privacy mode, default EQ, and custom EQ. And you can create and save a few different custom EQ profiles to quickly swap between. Moving further down, the Soundcore frames can detect when the glasses are put on and removed to play and pause media. And this feature can be turned on or off. And lastly, towards the bottom, we have the customizable controls. You can enable voice control for skipping tracks and turning the volume up or down and firmware updates, a quick start guide, and the user manual. So overall wrapping up here, the Soundcore frames are priced right in line with the other competition like the Razer Anzu and Bose frames. Depending on what you're most interested in, Anchor's design has an appealing feature in that ability to quickly swap your frame styles. Because for me, this makes the investment of dropping 200 bucks on some smart glasses a little bit, you know, easier and more versatile because for another $50, you know, a quarter of the price, you can add and, you know, totally change up the style with some additional frames. And with a decent battery life, uh, pretty good audio quality, and a nice variety of styles and features here, you know, I do think that these are a pretty great, really easy to use pair of smart glasses. With the holidays coming up, here, you know, if you have a tech dad who has everything, you know, this is kind of a interesting gift in the fact that, you know, you can get them these glasses and then, you know, for Father's Day or something, get them some different styles and it can keep it a little bit more fresh. 
But that'll wrap it up for our review of the Soundcore frames. Thank you so much for watching and let us know what you think about them down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys. Thank you.